Hello guys, today I'm going to teach you how to plot an IC50 curve using GraphPad Prism. So first of all, I'm going to open GraphPad Prism. Yes, so this is what GraphPad Prism looks like when you open it the first time. Now what we're going to plot is an XY plot. And if you're, you run your assay in triplicate values, that is you have three replicates for each concentration, you want to set this to three and hit create. Now, so Grappa Prism gives you a data sheet that looks like this. This is where you have your X axis values. You have your y values here so we want to stick put our y values in here um, what these other columns are for is when you want to plot multiple curves on the same graph but since we want to plot only one curve then we're just going to stick to this column so i'm just going to paste my data from excel yeah so that's the data. So here we have the concentrations and these are absorbance values. Okay. Now here, this here at concentration zero represents your control, which is your parasites without treatment of the drug. So which is your the control. So the first thing we want to do now is to log transform the x values. So to do that, hit analyze, transform, and hit OK. Now you want to check the box that says transform x values using. You want to make sure you select x equals log x. Hit OK. So now here you have the log transform x values, but here you can notice that the value here is missing, okay? Which also means the value is also missing here. Now um, to solve that, you probably wanna change this value to one. Now the problem is because um, the logarithm to the base 10 or 0 does not exist. So when you log transform, that value disappears. To solve this problem, we want to change it to 1 so that the logarithm to the base 10 of 1 becomes 0 and then it shows up here. So you can see that on the graph here. Okay, so we solve that. Now the next thing we want to do is normalize our y values to a percentage scale okay so what we are going to do is set our lowest values here as zero percent and our higher values as hundred percent and the rest are just going to fall between that so to do that we want to select our last data sheet here and hit the uh, analyze and normalize and say okay so how is zero percent defined smallest value in each data set how is hundred percent defined largest value in each data set so we want it on a percentage scale so we check this and we say okay so as you can see our data is normalized now what we want to do next is um, okay let's look at our graph what it looks like now Okay, so it looks nice, 100% highest, 0% lowest. So what we want to do is fit a sigmoid curve. To do that, you go back to analyze and select nonlinear regression and say, okay. Now, since our drug is an inhibitor, we want to choose dose response inhibition. And we're going to go for log inhibitor versus normalized response variable slope 
So hit OK. Now immediately grab that prism gives you an output. This here represents your IC50 value. This is your log IC50 value and your R square value. This tells you how good your fit is. Ideally, you want the R square value to be as close to one as possible. Since this is pretty close, we can infer that our fit was good. So next, we have, let's take a look at our graph. Looks something like this. So this looks nice, very beautiful. And uh, now we want to specify what our error bars actually stand for. To do that, click this option and we are going to select mean and error and select standard error the mean and say OK. Sure. So next you can label the axis. Um, we're going to say log, yeah, let's say chloroquine, yeah, which is the drug which was used in this experiment. Here we can label it as normalized response or normalized absorbance percentage. Or it could be whatever you choose. But this is what I like to use. Um, I like to remove this. Okay. Now, um, as you can notice, we have a lot of excess axis here. We want to get rid of that. So our graph spreads out nicely. To do that, you want to select one of the axes, double click. Now you want to check this box that says automatically determine the range of interval. So on checking this allows us to modify the scale of the axis. So um, we want to cut this off the y-axis somewhere here we want to set this to like uh, minus 10 and our maximum to like 1, 0. We want to do similar for x-axis we want to cut off at this point we want to check the box and say it's 3.2 and hit ok so this removes the excess axis and we get our point spread out nicely. Okay. Now the next thing we want to do is display our IC50 value. Um, we can use this check this text box, sorry, and place the cursor where we want, and you're gonna type in log IC50 equals um, we're going to change this to subscript. Okay, and GrabPad Prism has this cool feature. You can right click and say insert info or analysis constant. Allows you to go pick your analysis values here. Okay, so log IC50 and hit OK, and the value shows up. So the unit of this should be micromolar. So I can get, you can go here to get your Greek symbol, mu, and put our M, good, like that. So we can do that, right, our IC50, right, We need to deactivate this first like we did earlier right click insert info or analysis constant best fit values and select IC50 now the advantage of doing this is that if you should go back to your data table and make any changes it updates automatically so it saves you a lot of work so I see 50, snap. And let's say I like to show my R square value. Okay. So deactivate that. So 
here right click insert info constant then goodness of fit and go for your article panel okay so nice All right okay so this is our graph and it's looking pretty good yeah so i hope you've learned something and that this is going to help you with your data analysis thank you